Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. Now here's the deal. You see, this game has had the ability to destroy things very successfully implemented. However, when it came to creating planets, it was always a little bit challenging. There were tips and tricks you could use in the beginning. They had a few more controls like the lasers to be able to carve, but there were never proper planet creation tools that gave you the total power necessary to sculpt your own world. But now, there has been a major update, and we just have to figure out how to do it. Let's see, visuals. So, we still have our atmosphere, clouds, snow, ice, water, city lights, vegetation, all these colors we can do. Actually, this is a little bit more than we had before, if I remember properly. Lots of good stuff. But now we have elevation, which we can edit. So we can use elevation maps now, and I think we can mix and match them together. Yeah, so we can add elevation maps together. And while I can't actually directly draw on it, which I wish I could do. Okay, so you can go pretty far. You can change the magnitude of everything. Like I can invert or uninvert things see what that looks like so if we go ahead and we turn off elevation map 2 we can go ahead to the first one which is earth and we can edit the magnitude we can edit the offset and this is because these are basically just maps of values so we can either shift them or we can m multiply them exponentially by different amounts to get like the tallest parts to be taller and the lowest parts to be lower we can flip, which seems like a lot of fun. Okay, let's go ahead and get an empty slate to work on other than Earth so that we can really try to understand this. So let's grab a random rock. Grab a random rocky planet. Here it is. It's a pretty planet. Nesisi. Nes Nes Nesisi, yeah. Got that right the first time. All right. So let's go let's see exaggerated turn oh yeah so we can actually change how rugged the terrain works or looks look at that and it's super rugged that actually looks really good i like it already but let's go over to these elevation maps and see what we can do so we can edit the visuals of everything and then we can edit the data behind it so flip actually flips one of the components of that map you can kind of see it on the top right there uh that it literally flips the image if we flip it the other way it's inverted the other way as well now at first i thought it inverted the values but it doesn't this inverts it so this one right here will invert the map so if we wanted an inverted earth what we'd have to do is we'd Plop earth here and then I'm assuming it's the same thing we're just gonna go over to the visuals edit the data on the elevation and let's flip oh okay. perhaps we have to wait for the water to move okay we destroyed the planet um that that works too I like that the music gets more intense when things are hitting each other. Very entertaining. But I wonder if it's just the water needs a second to flow. Yeah, look! Oh, the water is pouring into the continents now. That's interesting. Europe is already gone. Good riddance. Sorry, Europeans. I have to make fun of you. Otherwise, I don't get my daily quota. Biden bucks. I'm being paid. All right. Africa's being flooded. This is going very slowly, though. I think we can go ahead and hit the settle water button and boom, it's automatically settled. And this is very unsettling to look at because this is the opposite of what you're used to. But this is the Earth with a inverted. Oh, my God. The inverted elevation map. Uh, that's, that's odd. 
You know, I wonder if people would recognize this for what it is, like, immediately. I feel like the average person would have no clue. Uh, like, the various ocean trenches have now become mountain ranges and there's Africa. Wow. Okay, so the interesting thing is you could probably identify it like this. You'd probably know from seeing this that it was Earth inverted, although it kind of plays tricks on your eyes, being the wrong color and everything. But if I were to flip it upside down, I bet you that very few people would be able to tell you what this was. Um, it's not very recognizable at all. Like, I get kind of mega Africa there, but your brain isn't really meant to see something upside down and inverted like this. The, the cues just aren't there for your brain to put it together. This just kind of looks like a completely different planet now. And then we can add a little bit more into the mix using that visual. Uh, oh, we can add the, ooh, the exaggerated terrain. Now, now I just absolutely cannot tell that this is Earth anymore. I'm sorry. It just doesn't look like it anymore. But we can make it legitimately not Earth if we add another elevation map and uh, just mix it together. Okay. I did not want three charts to show that. I wanted to edit the data behind that. All right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and grab a map of like. Sedna, what about something cool? The moon, oh yeah. So we can add the moon on and we get all of the craters from the moon mixed in. We can really pump up the magnitude on that so we can really see the dramatic. Oh geez, that looks awesome. Oh yes, okay. You, you would not be able to recognize this at all. So that looks really cool. The only thing is that where where'd the life go? The average temperature is a little bit low, so let's turn it up a little bit to something reasonable. Uh, still no life. Looking a little barren. Did it? Vegetation is still set properly. Let's see what's going on on the surface. Uh, do we do have the atmosphere? Still? I wonder, I wonder why all the vegetation is gone. I wonder if I just have to give it time. Oh, I did not mean to throw an asteroid at the planet. That was accidental. Oh, geez, when it's actually turning, you can really see how dramatic, some interesting rendering stuff going on here. It looks like that the land is like rendering a Above the cloud. Yeah, do you see that? Do you see what's going on there? That is trippy. Um, I'm sure that's because I pumped the magnitude so high it's like broken, but the land does appear to be above the clouds. What on earth? <laughs> or I guess not on earth. I'm gonna assume that's the exaggerated terrain. No, it's still rendering above it. What? Is that to be the magnitude then? No, it's still... I really have no clue what's causing that to happen. It's really freaky though. M messing with my eyes. Maybe I'm just seeing it wrong. That definitely looks wrong. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you can see what's wrong here. There is something in the rendering is just... Hmm freaky anyways everything working exactly as i'd expect other than that um there is a ton of power to this i mean we can do a lot and have a lot of fun i mean technically this is snow but we can recolor it to look like vegetation since it won't give us actual vegetation and uh boom we have earth oh well i mean that doesn't really make sense that the poles are green Oh boy. Yeah, where's the base color? There we go. Okay. So we can get the I just want I just want it to be like this. All right. Map none. Map 
this a color map or an actual map? Yeah, that's a color map. Okay. So, with Mars colors, that looks pretty nice. I like it. I like it. So, uh, the, the, the point being, the amount of stuff you can do now when it comes to creating planets is greatly expanded. Um, it's some good work by the Universe Sandbox team because I know this is something people have been waiting for for a while. I mean, I guess this planet doesn't actually have any, uh, <laughs> any land to look at, but... We know the solution there. All we got to do is increase the silicate and it's a gas giant now because I pulled it down and <laughs> that caused that caused some situations to occur. Oh boy. You know how it goes in universe sandbox. No, one second you're making a planet. The next second you've accidentally allowed it to get pulled into the gravitation wall of another planet and they're both going to murder each other. Just let, no, they're actually balanced. I did not intend that, but these two planets are now balanced. I wonder if tidal heating is. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, what's the temperature? 36 degrees. That is some real tidal heating going on right there because there is no star to keep these bad boys warm. They are just keeping each other nice and toasty by trying to rip each other apart. Interesting. Look at them go. I wonder if I can add a third object into this. Let's go ahead and grab the moon. We'll put it around the little one. Oh, nope, the moon has been, oh! And our beautiful system has fallen apart. So cool. What is left of the Earth is now a very angry blob of what it once was. All right, but overall, this uh, editor, very cool stuff. I see a lot we can do with it. Like, for example, we could add Earth's continents onto Mars. Let's do that. Go ahead and grab earth oh and you can see you can see the outlines of the continents let's just make it a little bit more dramatic oh the offset shifts it left to right which i guess okay that makes sense i got it i got it and the magnitude is how hence it is we can flip it and let's make this negative 100 percent and add a little bit of water to mars what I want to see. Okay, I have to make it not freezing for the water to actually you know, go where I want it to go. I've made a horrible mistake. That's okay. It's only a planet we're talking about. Planets are small and unimportant. All right, visuals will go back to the elevation here. Let me see if I can settle the water. Nope. It's not giving me what I want. All right, let's turn this up a little bit more. And... Why? Why? Why ice? <laughs> I can burn the ice and it's still not melting. Oh, no, it's because there's not enough. It's, it's definitely just off gassing all the water. Okay, uh, one moment. I forgot an atmosphere. Hate it when that happens. Oh, we'll, we'll restart from the beginning. Okay, uh, let's first get some water on Mars in a fashion that will do us some good. So let's go over to the atmosphere. Where's our atmosphere stuff at? I feel like it was supposed to be over here. What's going on? Surface? Atmosphere. Here we go. Uh, we'll do Earth Atmospheres and do one. Nice. All right. So that should hold that should hold everything in like I'm hoping. Oh, one mass Earth. That is not what I wanted to do. 
<laughs> oh no that is definitely not what i want to do i wanted to do one atmosphere of pressure actually for some reason pretty pretty close um let's now jump over to the visuals we will turn off the atmosphere so we can see underneath and now i think liquid water is going to be able to grace us with its presence if we turn the heat up a little bit maybe where's the minimum temperature we got the average temperature here but i have a feeling that that is not quite as helpful as i'm hoping and we can add more water to the surface level ah there we go i can just tweak the sea level there and now we can see what we want all right so now let's jump over to the surface uh, no the visuals and then let's go ahead and get that negative earth added on there all right visuals edit data see i'm getting better at this not really but we'll pretend i am right. earth negative earth settle the water oh darn it <laughs> turn up that sea level a little bit hey i can see australia in asia there we go it's mars but earth has been a subtracted from it oh that's neat very neat north america looking a little messed up over there okay Let's try to invert this again and see what it looks like if we just have Earth on Mars. Yep, that's pretty much what I would expect. Although, yeah, so things are a little bit funky because of, you know, the low points on Mars cause things like North America just does not exist. California still does that. West Mexico, Australia looking a little wide. Um, also, practically connected to Asia through massive land bridges at this point. Um, South Africa exists. Uh, anything northwest, though, absolutely obliterate. Europe gone once again. Wow, Europe just keeps getting the sword into the stick here. But I, I think you guys get the point. There's a lot you can do here. You can have a lot of fun, add things together, delete them, you know. See what you can do, what planets you can make, and uh, have some fun. So thank you all for watching. Thumbs up to the Universe Sandbox 2 team. I mean, what has it been, like, five years now? of Consistent and impressive updates? That takes a lot of effort. Good for you guys. <laughs> and I will see you all next time. Peace out.